Hello. So in this uh, video, I'm going to walk through the steps necessary to get AGE and AGE Viewer installed on my Mac device. I'm going to walk through installing Postgres to installing AGE, then to installing AGE Viewer, and then go through some examples of how to do it. So the first step you're going to have to do to install Postgres is run this doc or install uh, get the source code for Postgres, which I have here. I have Postgres 11.17 here. And the first step is you're going to need to configure it for your specific machine, which is done by running the configure command. Since I have multiple instances of Postgres installed, I need to install in a custom location, which I'm doing here. I want C asserts installed because I am doing some debugging and development work as well as the develop debug flag which will enable Postgres to debug things. I have the LLDB debugger flag passed to the compiler in the GDB one. I can't use GDB on my M1 Mac right now. I use LLDB but most people prefer GDB and that is the flag you need to pass. I've turned off optimizations, I've enabled full debugging support, and F no emit frame pointer is doing something with the frame pointers, which is just good to preserve if you're debugging. If you are not using AGE or Postgres in a development setting, you're probably going to want to turn all these off, but for me, they're necessary. Okay, Postgres is now set up for my environment and so now I can do make or I can do make install. Now make will just compile it, make install will compile and then get it set up so we can begin running. So I'm just going to do that. This will take a little while to do. Okay, Postgres should be installed. You will see this bin. So in bin you can see that this is where all the apps for Postgres now are. So, I'm going to step out, and then I'm going to make a new directory called demo. And in demo, I'm going to go, and I'm going to clone the Apache AGE project into this repository, compile it against Postgres. Okay, so now I'm going to go into AGE, I'm going to do sudo make pg config. And then now I need to give a path to where is it? PG config. I need to pass this information to make in order to get it to compile and install in this version of Postgres. So it's home directory, desktop, Postgres, rel 1117 bin PG config install. Install it. Now, install check. Do not run this in pseudo mode. That will cause issues. Okay. Cat, regression, regression, diffs. Okay, this is just an error that we run into when we are running on Mac because string comparisons return this as opposed to this when there's an extra space not a big deal but this is the unit regression test you can run it to see if your system is working properly so now we're going to go back to postgres one more change into postgres sql ah, sorry wrong version of postgres 11 11 there and so now we are going to initialize our database. Um, let's call it demo. Okay, and this is how right here they're passing us the information to start it. Before we start it, I'm going to show you again. So what that did was thanks to pgconfig, the demo directory, this is your database. This is where everything's going to be installed. And so we're going to go into demo real quick. And I'm going to set a couple things. So this is the default Postgres configuration for this specific instance 
and how you handle it. Uh, the basic things is port. We're going to change the port. So I'm going to change it to zero. Five, three, five, four, three, zero. I'm doing this because I might have a couple instances of Postgres running right now and I just want to avoid some issues later on. The other thing we're going to do, and I'll show you the steps you need to do if you don't want to do this, is preload libraries. And we're going to preload AGE. And we're also going to do uh, path. Dynamic library path search path. So this is the search path. We're going to do ag catalog comma like that. Okay. And now we're going to start our version of Postgres. Now it's started. Logging information will now be in the log file. And now we're going to create the database and it's going to be port 430 and we're going to call it demo as well and now we're going to open a command line to our database and we now have an interface with our database we're now in it we can begin to run SQL commands and in a second we're going to be able to run cipher commands before you do that just the first time you set up a database, you go through here, you do create DB, you PSQL on it, you're going to have to do create extension AGE, like that. So AGE is now installed in Postgres. So if I did not do the steps where I modified PostgreSQL.conf, I would have to then do a couple other things. I would need to set the search path to include AG catalog, and I'll go into details about why in a second. And I would also need to run the command load AG. This is the shared or the preloaded libraries. This is how you dynamically load AG into Postgres. If you don't do the steps with Postgres.conf, you have to do these steps. But now we can create a graph. We're going to call it demo. Okay, and now we have a graph created, we can begin to run Cypher Demo. Create a node. Create edge. Create node. Hmm, what did I do wrong? What's the grammar issue I'm missing? Oh well. So now I actually have data. Oh, I know what it is. So what I did was doing wrong is see how I did select cipher. You need to do select star from cipher. I was just skipping a step. So mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So now I have data, or I have some vertexes, edges in my system. So now I can do select all from cipher demo match then And there is the current existing vertices in the system. 
here's Rob Reiner as we created him, and then there's these two other nodes with no properties as we created here. So, um, now I'm going to then walk through using AG Viewer to visualize this data in a better format. Sorry for the edit, but that is what I was doing here by killing the processes. So now I'm going to start up AG Viewer. Uh, we're going to go back to demo. We're going to get clone, and we're going to clone the AG Viewer project into the system. Okay, we're going to go and we're going to do AG Viewer. And now, in here, the relevant instructions is have node installed. You do not need to install PM2. That is not necessary for just getting in working version. NPM run setup. This will run, set up the system. Okay, now NPM run start. I didn't kill the pro parts properly. Hmm. Well, shoot. Okay, here's the interesting thing, folks. I was already running a version. So if we go here, here's AG Viewer. Already set up. <laughs> and here I am. It was already connected to another instance I was running. Um, I'm going to close that session. Yes, I'm going to close that window. And I'm going to now connect to AGD to local host 5430. Demo. Demo. User. No, that's not my username. I think it's my name. Connected. Okay, now I'm connected to my running instance that we have now installed. Uh, you can see that. We're going here. Select all from Cypher demo match in turn in as a AG. Uh, I'm going to just copy that real quick. There you go. Here's all your nodes in the system in a visual format. You can move them around and play with them if you want. You can go here. We have some pre-generated queries running. And there you go. Here's the edge that we created in the previous uh, terminal. We can create data here too. All the queries that are valid in the terminal are valid here. And to my knowledge, that's as far as I needed to go.